Hello class and welcome back to music. I hope you guys have all had a great week. Uh, you guys did super good on your packets. Thank you for getting those into me. Uh, we are going to take a quick break this week from doing paper assignments and I have a project for you guys that I think is going to be pretty fun. So just to kind of get into this here, I'm going to play you guys a quick video here. Try to guess what we're going to do. This video is called Mr. Curly. I'm going to introduce you to Mr. Curly. This is Mr. Curly. Mr. Curly looks pretty small and pretty, um, well, yeah, very curly. Um, but in fact, if you stretch Mr. Curly out, it's about two meters uh, length of narrow bore garden hose. Um, the aluminium pipe that um, the hose is wrapped around is just really for the, to, as a shape, as a for, form for the garden hose. And Mr. Curley sounds like this. So I don't know if you saw there what he's got is a garden hose that's wrapped around a piece of pipe and then on the top of it he's got a clarinet mouthpiece hooked up to a speaker when he blows into that it blows just like a clarinet would but when he pushes down on the garden hose it changes the pitch of the instrument now he's going to do something really cool here uh, i don't know if you guys remember i brought in what was called a looper pedal one week where you can play something and then click the pedal and it will keep playing that over and over and over again and you can layer on top of it. So he's gonna play a song with this instrument that he made. got another instrument pulled up here see if you can guess what this one does <laughs> This is going to be your guys' assignment for this week. Rather than doing like a worksheet, 
I want you guys to find objects around your house and try to make a homemade instrument out of them. Now these ones that he showed here are pretty extreme. I don't expect anyone to make an electronic instrument. That's really, really, really difficult. I would struggle with that. But I want you guys to be creative here and come up with something that you could play music off of. So I want to play a couple more videos for you guys here uh, just to get your head spinning. Try to think about what you would like to make. This guy here plays a bunch more electronic ones, but what he does here, you could do without the electronics for most of them. We're not gonna watch this whole video because it's seven minutes long, but we're gonna jump around a little bit here. Now if you see there, he was hitting the end of the pipe to make that noise. This is a guitar made out of parts of a bed. This is all plumbing pipe here. This one is a bunch of strings, kind of like a harp played with a violin bow. This one's just a bunch of metal pipes that he's playing like a drum. Again, more plumbing pipe. Let's jump around a little bit here. This one's a bunch of chimes. They have spinning on a bicycle wheel. This is just a bunch of spam cans. Now, that one is super cool. I've actually got a video uh, of that one specifically. This is a flute that they make out of pop bottles. These ones are glass, but you could use uh, plastic bottles also. So all you do is you fill them with different amounts of water and you blow in the top of them like this. And it will make a noise. Uh, if you've got different amounts of water in them, they play different notes. So watch this. Bottle pamphlet. Now the one I have in front of me has six, no, yeah, where there's no carpet. So it's actually really good. Bottle. Easy to get to. And we're just gonna. Might not very pretty. Yeah, I just want to get to him playing. So this. It. There we go. I think uh, I might just leave it on the roll while I do this. All this is is pop bottles and duct tape so and water. On the, my right side, which is your left view, the way you're facing, is the G. In between. And you can see I made a mistake. I wasn't watching close enough. I put these two backwards. Is this a C? So, uh, oops. <laughs> but uh, we're not going to take the time to fix that right now. I have one that's in the right order already. Um, if you happen to do that, just cut the tape and reorder the bottles. In this case, when I put these two bottles attached, and some, some of you can figure it out by ear. I know some of you can do that. Those who can't and you don't know the music, just look them up online. Songs like Mary the Little Lamb, Twinkie, Twinkie, yeah, Twinkie Little Star, Twinkle Little Star, Fairy Jacka. If you look, search those on Google. You're so be careful with it. it. Does have some weight? That's why we're only doing five. The more you do, the heavier it's going to get. That's all. Take care. This is a wacky musician. Out. So that's a super cool video. That one's really not difficult to do. Uh, this one here, this guy makes a bunch of drums out of buckets for free around your neighborhood. Buckets you can get free at restaurants or school cafeterias. Cut the bottom off one with a razor. Cut the other end off uh, the raised edge with a razor. Tape them. I do want to say here, he mentioned a razor. If you have to use any sharp objects or doing anything cutting wise, please ask your parents for help. Also, please don't cut into any of their things without asking first. I wouldn't want you to use a bucket or a garden hose or something and destroy it when your parents don't want you to. So please ask before you use anything. Come together and you can play it with your hands. Or with mallets that you make out of any type of fabric, socks work great, and any type of pipe or stick you find with a little duct tape. You can put a strap on it and dance around with it. 
You can get big bass drums at bakeries and at car washes. They use them for things like barley malt and car wash shampoo. Use an old lawn chair as a stand instead of throwing it away. Here's how they sound. You can also put straps on these and dance around with them. You can take two cans and after you get done eating, tape them together, put a little cardboard in between and make a bell. You tune it by hitting the inside of the can. You can also put beans inside a can and make a shaker. You can play on the edges with a pen. So one that's super, super cool that I'm going to end off with. This guy made an entire xylophone out of a uh, plumbing pipe. This is super, super difficult. If you look like down here at the bottom, there is a ton of pipes here. I don't expect anybody to do anything like this, but when you hit the tops of them with something flat, it uh, makes different noises for each one. So just take a listen. So that one is super cool. So what I want you to do for this week, think about this, figure out what kind of instrument you want, ask your parents how they can help you. I'm sure they'll also have plenty of ideas to help you do this. I'm sure most of them are more than willing to help out as well. And then I want you to take either a picture or a video of your instrument and have your parents send it to me. This project will be due at 10 o'clock at night next Tuesday, uh, Tuesday the 14th of April. I'm giving you guys a little bit longer because I know we've got Easter weekend coming up and I'm sure a few of you have plans. So I want you guys to have plenty of time to do this well. Thank you.